Drive Like Lightning is a 1992 made-for-TV action film directed by Bradford May and starring Stephen Bauer, Cynthia Gibb, William Russ, James Handy, and Derek McGrath. The Lonely Walk of Loneliness. Yep, there's my dinner. That can't be Nashville. There's no road construction. Walker shows up at Charlie's place and offers a job. I came to give you a job. I need somebody to haul the Weevil out to L.A. We got a show this Saturday. Yeah, well, Bull's got a bunch of guys who can haul that thing. Why don't you get one of them? I'd rather have you. Is this movie just going to be smoking a bandit? You can make yourself a few grand. Hell, if you don't want it for yourself, use it for Billy. Hey, I can get jobs here, you know. I'm not saying you can't. Billy is probably in a wheelchair from some wreck or something. But Charlie says, no dice! Oh, he'll change his mind. Later, Bull and Walker meet with this guy. My guys are getting very impatient, you know, the cost of money and everything. And the way it is, these guys, they just don't like waiting. It makes them so mean-tempered, you know what I mean? Oh, that sounds like they're in over their heads with a criminal element. There we go. Come on, Bill. Get up. Hey, come on! Hey, 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 hey. No, 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 come yeah, on, come brother. On. No, no. Jesus! I fucking knew it! And Billy talks Charlie into taking the job. Yeah, I'm here unannounced for the job. You just drive carefully, okay? Okay. Walker. Thanks. Where's the truck? I guess he found it and he's on his way. Uh, watch your 20, good buddy. Gee, I wonder what that E stands for. He stops to get gas and possibly some ass. How are you? You know, I've been waiting for you for about an hour. I didn't think you'd ever show. Sorry, I'm late. Excuse me. Oh. Hey, what are you doing? Then he knocks the piss out of this guy. You expect me to thank you, I guess. That was my ride! What the hell am I supposed to do now, huh? Sorry I messed up your ride. She's going to tag along. Where are you going? West. L.A. Convenient! And they're on their way. Here's some banter. The Weevil! Oh. You cried this while. I saw the show in Nashville. Ah. Uh. Ginger McDaniel. They're gonna fall in love. Start looking for a motel, will you? We go a few lousy miles and you start looking for a bed. All you guys are exactly alike. They sleep? You don't trust anybody, do you? Years of experience have taught me otherwise. That's right. DTA, don't trust anybody. You folks want a room for the night? Two. Separate. Not together. They're working on the main highway about 40 miles west of here, cross into Texas. All kinds of delays. You might want to take the off-roads if you know your way. <laughs> That'll be uh, $20 piece, please. $20? Are the bed bugs extra? All right, I'm on a tight schedule, so in the morning, five sharp, okay? Man, but I'm not done puking until 10. I'll be needing this extra room. <laughs> well, hell, I've been in love too, and since you didn't really use the room, you don't owe me nothing. Aw, thank you. That's awfully sweet of you, really. What the fuck is she up to? It's pretty bright out for 5 a.m. Ginger. Ginger, wake up. What are you doing here? I woke up early. I didn't want to miss the ride. Mm-hmm. You leave the truck unlocked? Go ahead. Say it. What's a hotshot songwriter doing traveling broken catch and rides, right? It's none of my business. What about you? Well, that's none of your business. I've seen these halfway houses in all kinds of movies back in the 80s and 90s. I don't know if they were real or if they still exist, or anything. But I'd love to go eat at one, and then start a fight. Driving.
Well, shit. Oh, well, Doc. Science terminal. What do we do now? Let's take the stunt car. Oh, time to impress the lady. God, this feeling of power is amazing, isn't it? This is slow. <laughs> Hang on. And the film gets its low rent Buford T. Justice. TV executives! One jump. No practice, no second chance. Not just any ordinary jump. A corkscrew. It's never been done before. I do like this. Are you sure that this has never been tried before? If anybody tried it, they'd be dead. You might as well. The mob's going to kill you anyway. Only we jump this Saturday. Live, not February. Damn, they scheduled a live broadcast pretty fast. Listen, I had a little trouble with the truck. I had to leave it on the highway. It's no big deal, just the hose. I had to take the Weevil and go get parts, so... What? What, you took the Weevil down? Just take it easy, all right? Well, I could just leave it here and go home. You're hoping to be responsible. They? Who's they? Walker, why didn't you tell me any of this before? Look, Charlie, that car has to be here in time, or I am dead meat. Getting in bed with the mob is your fault. Here's the fuzz. The young lady. Friend of yours? Yeah, she's a friend. Just riding along, huh? Look, Sergeant, did you just stop me to visit or what? Or what? Is he gonna bring up the man act? Took Kelbo? Where's he? Back in Texola, but he's up at a golf clinic in Colorado. Won't be back till tomorrow night. So we're going to have to wait. Of course! I can't just leave it here. It's a valuable stunt You're going to have to risk it. I'll follow you. Sure. Bye-bye, asshole. And the film goes full Smokey and the Bandit. Now they need to take the car and sneak into L.A., but let's sit here and talk a while. Well, that rental truck will be ready soon. You can still catch right with me if you want. You're not getting that truck. Thanks anyway, Charlie. But I didn't exactly plan on this Bonnie and Clyde thing, you know? She's not going anywhere. Flatbed ready? Yeah, it's around back. Son of a bitch. You go on inside now, Herb. Do some paperwork. We'll take care of this here. I'm going to give you a shit rating on Yelp, you asshole. Ginger's going to drive the car. You know, there is nothing worse than a law enforcement officer being made to look like a fool. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Ginger is driving the car and saves the day just like we knew she would. Here's a chase. Let's laugh, even though the driver could be dead. It's a telegram from Ray Gonzalez of the New Mexico State Patrol. The Texas State Police have informed him that the Weevil is headed in his direction. You hired Charlie Robinson to drive the truck? I guess Bull found out what's going on. And he sends some guys to go get the car. You better not hurt that boy. Don't say it, Walker. He's got my car. Get your ass on the line, too. I'm starting to get the sneaking suspicion that Charlie's going to be the one making that jump. I'm sorry to have to put you through all that. <laughs> uh, that was the second most fun I've ever had in my life. Sure. Man. Feel my heart. Her boob? Tell me about it, Charlie. Something went wrong, that much I can figure. I figured that out in the first five minutes. He's alive. But three quarters of his body doesn't work anymore. And he still kicked your ass! I guess we ought to hit the road, huh? We can't. <sighs> no headlights. This is Charlie's version of, Oh, we're all out of gas here in the middle of nowhere. 
And I assume they get it on. They were last spotted here, somewhere between Tucumcari and Albuquerque. You put out an APB? Well, yeah. But you can see how all these roads branch off the main highway. They could be anywhere by now. Rent a helicopter. Here's your deliverance moment, including the banjo music. How you doing, folks? Uh, you sell gas here? Is that their ladies' room or something? Take cash. You know, that guy has a decent haircut for being a desert rat. And we get a photo montage. And they leave. And they're spotted. Okay, the girl's name is Ginger McDaniel. Her parents have a small ranch near Flagstaff. That's probably where they're headed. Oh, wow, good work, Ray. Uh-oh. Family. Oh, I did it to make sure you got your money. That's right. You up the stakes. One million dollars. Yeah. Yeah, it's a million dollars. What do you want, Marty? Most of it. Here's a song. Then they get it on again. I finish like lightning. The next day. Oh, this ain't about money, Charlie. You boys made a fool of the bull down once before. Well, it ain't gonna happen again. Plot twist. Not really. And Bulls guys take off with the car. Oh, my lover. Convoy. They take over the truck and the truth comes out. USOB. You knew they messed with this car. You knew it. Have his damn car. And I want TV cameras at the gorge in three hours. You got that? Why? Just get them there. And the film has become the gauntlet. Is that a fucking cell phone? That phone call cost $70. There's a chase and Bull got the bright idea of getting a fucking chopper. Charlie gets to the gorge with Bull hovering in the way and... They're both dead. Nope, Charlie makes the jump and he's okay. Hey, I delivered your car, asshole. Have fun getting murdered by the mob. And Charlie will be going to prison. Drive Like Lightning is an okay road trip movie, borrowing a lot from Smokey and the Bandit and the Gauntlet. It's made for TV, and you know how most of that is shit. But this movie's a little above the average. It keeps your interest, even though it gets repetitive at times, especially with Ginger and Charlie continuously saying goodbye. It's a decent little flick. I knew these CBs would come in handy. 